We're in the west coast of the Malaysian Peninsula. Well, it's Solangor to be exact for yet another edition of the PKN or Solangor Masters. Just one of the popular tournaments on the Asian Development Tour. I think now Sri Selangor is a special place or chosen place by the golfer and we will try to attract more competitive tournament to organize in Sri Selangor and we will try to improve the golf course as best as where we can. This is a promotion of our tourist attraction, especially on activity of sport tourism. So I think it's a part of promotion did by the government to help the tourism activity. The 10th leg on the ADT season, the PKNS Selangor Masters will be played on the tricky Sri Selangor Golf Club. With the end of season in sight, players will battle it out to get into the top 10 on the money list as only the cream of the crop will earn coveted Asian tour cards for 2024. After playing in Europe for three or four years, I realised like if, if you settle for just OK, you, you just get chewed out. So you've got to keep working hard and um, the layout, even if it was perfect conditions, demands a lot of good shots. There's really nowhere where you're like, oh, this is an easy hole. Anything can happen. I mean, I've seen people who have been playing so well and lead up to like big tournaments and then they, they fall apart. And I've seen people who are struggling to make cuts uh, all of a sudden have a win when they needed to. So, I mean, this, this is a crazy game we play. Right now, I definitely need to try to get into Saudi. And this is a big tournament this week, so hopefully I can do really well. I've done it before. I know how to manage the nerves and I know how to manage my expectations well. So this is how things shaped up through three days in Selang or Chinese Taipei's Ho Yu Cheng, leading the way by four over former ADT Order of Merit winner Naoki Sakito. Deng Abdul Rahman and Irvin Chang flying the home flag high, sitting in third and a share of fourth, respectively. So let's get you up to speed with what's already transpired through the early stages of the final round. 36-hole leader and former Asian Tour champion Indonesia's Rory He Getting up and down there for a birdie at the six to move him inside the top five. Kor King Wai, a Malaysian stalwart for many years, dropped a couple of shots before this birdie at the sixth got him back to level begging and three over par. Big Dayan Lawson opened his final round strongly. That was a birdie at the first. playing alongside another Malaysian veteran, Kenneth De Silva. He started the day at two over par. That was his third shot to the par five six. Would go on to collect that one for birdie to get himself up to two over. Japan's Naoki Sekito started the day four back. A couple of drop shots at two and three, and unfortunately, another one there at the fifth. So that would drop him back into solo third at one over par. Oh, Yu Chen still leading the way by three. Ding Abdul Rahman, well, making up ground, just level par through his first five, but with the Taiwanese struggling, he was hoping for something special in this final round. So out to the golf course we go. And Thailand's Ruchanapong Yuprayong, this for a par at the seventh. Very nicely hold for the Thai. Very tricky golf course, certainly birdies are desired, but Sometimes not giving up shots. Well, that'll serve you in good stead. Now to the highest Malaysian on the leaderboard right now, Deng Rahman hacking out of the thick stuff at the par five sixth. Ooh, and that's very nicely played indeed. He'll have that to get himself into red figures. Now from one Malaysian to another, Southeast Asian Games gold medalist, Irvin Chang. Top of the hill at the seventh, currently four over par. That one should release on a little bit. Keep going, keep going. 
Brilliant shot there from Irvin Chang. Setting up a birdie opportunity. Now, Dayan Lawson, tee shot at the 189 yard par 3 8. So he wasn't feeling great to start the day. Heat and humidity taking its toll. Now, overnight leader, Ho Yu Cheng. It's been a tough start, couple of early drop shots, but this is an eagle look at six. Oh dear. Wanders that one a little bit wide, but with good pace, should be able to convert that for his birdie. Now, Pusit Sapapramai. Lengthy birdie look from the front of the seventh green. Pretty flat here. Starts to work its way downhill, moving from the right. Be very content with a two-putt par here, and ooh, that's got to settle down. Hmm. Bit of work left to do for Supapratmai. Now Lawson, up and over a ridge for his birdie at the eighth. Oh, scared the hole, but will remain above ground. Now, Naoki Sekito. This would vault him from one over par to one under par. This is an eagle look at six. Keep turning, keep turning. Greens at Sri Selangor certainly are rolling beautifully. Now, Varanyu Ratanapibonkic, known as Bank, out here on the Age Development Tour. Slick one at seven for birdie. You can just see that ball continue to trundle on. Now, important part now for Ho Yu Cheng, just to steady the ship a little bit. Yeah, solidly hold. Recovers one of the three shots he's dropped already today. Gets him back to four under. Now, Sapapramai. A bit racy with that birdie look to avoid dropping a shot now for Pusit. Yeah, just never looked comfortable over that. So he'll slip back to three over par. Now, Kenneth De Silva. Par putt at the eighth. Regular feature on the Malaysian tour and age development tour for many years. Fiery character. It's a good save there for De Silva. Now, Irvin Chang to take a step closer to the championship lead after that wonderful second shot. He'll convert for that birdie. Get himself back to three over par. But a timely two-putt birdie at the sixth keeps Ho Yu Cheng out in front by three of a Deng Abdul Rahman. A birdie at six as well, taking Sekito back to even par for the championship. Here is your leader on the seventh. Really can just land this on the front third of the green. It should release back to today's pin position. it a long way there but it's not going to stop that's pretty good though give himself an uphill birdie putt from the back left fringe now Ding Abdul Rahman had some troubles off this tee at seven this is now his fifth shot into the par four so with Abdul Rahman struggles Irvin Chang could find himself as the top Malaysian in a couple of moments. Part this hole every day so far this week, the eighth. Oh, and he could do much better today. That's a lovely tee shot from Irvin. Now, Sekito. Third shot at the seventh. Just bunkered. Looked to be sitting rather poorly as well, but he's managed very nicely. The Japanese player. Now Varanyu up and over the hill at eight. Uh, he's asking for that to stretch, but it's not going to. So Yu Chen with his closest pursuer struggling. This to stretch the lead. Gave it the early walk, but not the good sort. He'll tap that one in for par. Now Chang. Can he capitalize after that fine tee shot? No, oh, just a little tentative, and he knew it off the bat as well. Now, 
with a double bogey at seven. Just enough on it. Well, I give up a couple of shots, but that's a nicely held putt by Deng Abdul Rahman. Now Sekito to avoid dropping one here at the par four. Now it's a little right, it's a little wide, and oh dear, oh dear. So a five shot cushion now for Ho Yu Cheng. He's a couple over today, but it matters not. He's the only player under par here in the final round of the PKNS Selangor Masters. Welcome back to the final round highlights of the PKNS Selangor Masters, part of the plethora of tournaments on the Asian Development Tour, a true breeding ground for young golfing talents in this part of the world. The Selangor Masters is part of our bigger scheme of things where we will encourage or develop the local talents. This year, we have got 30% or one third of the players in the Selangor Masters are Malaysians. One third of them again, qualified for the final round. Uh, this speaks a lot uh, in terms of the development of golf in the country. The role of PKNS, uh, one of it is to develop sports. Golf is one of our key uh, development programs and in this respect, I think the Masters uh, plays a very important role that provides a bridge for the local players to go into the uh, Asian Development Tour. Can anyone cut into that lead of Ho Yu Cheng? Well, Usit Supaprapai is certainly going to try. A couple of early drop shots, but he's birdied 10 and 11 to get himself back inside the top 10. Now, there was trouble off the tee at the ninth for Ho. This was a putt for par. Just slipping by. Yoki Sakito also ran to some problems on the tee at the 10th. This is now his fourth shot. He's only made one birdie in this final round and is slowly sliding out of contention. So Yu Cheng continues to lead just by three over Deng Abdurrahman and Run Chanapong Yu Prayong, who's three under par here at Sri Selangor. So out to the golf course we go. Back nine in this final round. Pus it for birdie at 11. Quick one down the hill. Gets that one to drop. Brilliantly hold from the type. That's three on the bounce for Supapratmai. Now, Dayan Lawson. 540 yard par 5, 13. Second shot on the way. Currently finds himself two over par. And the target safely found for Lawson. That's going to work its way off the slope. And that will be for Eagle in a couple of moments. Now into the par 3 12th. Ho Yi Cheng. Never easy sleeping on an overnight lead. Up by four to start this final round. It's just three now. Oh, but he is showing no signs of slowing down. Aggressive tee shot. Brilliantly played. Now Lawson. Down the hill for an eagle. This would certainly give the Taiwanese something to think about. Oh, Dayan Lawson, look at that. An eagle three. All of a sudden, he's got himself right into the title picture. Uh, Ding up to Raman, just off the... Left edge of the green at 12, trying to use the contours, and he's used them very nicely. Good touch there. Now, for four in a row. 
Pusit Supaparapai. A birdie putt at the par five. Just slides by the left edge. Now Sekito coming down that little shoulder that Abdul Rahman just chipped out. It's going to be fairly quick. Oh, not quick enough. Short in the jaws. Now Lawson, after that terrific eagle at 13. Can he keep the foot on the gas pedal? This a birdie look at 14. Yes. Slides it in the right edge, and Dayan Lawson now gets within one. But for how long? Because Ho Yi Cheng is this to double his advantage. Just got to get this started. Coming straight down the hill. Beautifully held for the Taiwanese. That'll settle him down. Now, Kenneth De Silva, brilliant tee shot into the 227 yard par three. Oh, but he can't get it to drop, and that is a huge opportunity squandered for De Silva. Dean Lawson going eagle birdie, 13 and 14. He's certainly giving Oh Yi Cheng a run for his money. Meanwhile, out on the golf course in some of the other groups, Thailand's Tawit Poltai started the day at five over par, but that was a par putt at the 18th for a closing round of 67. Sets the clubhouse target at two over. Playing alongside him was fellow Thai Amarin Krajvik and started the day with an 11 shot deficit. That was a bogey at the last, but a closing round of 68. Naoki Sekito, second into 13. Been a difficult final round for the Japanese. He can pick up a couple of shots here at the par five, just as Dayan Lawson did. And tell you what, he's given himself a great look for Eagle there. Go on to two putt that for a birdie. Now from Chanapong, Yu Prayong for a par at the 18. A sizzling final round of 67 for the Thai sets the new clubhouse mark at one over par. Yu Cheng continued to struggle in this final round. T Shot gave him a lot of work to do, ran it past her there. That was a three putt bogey. Oh dear oh dear, things were getting tight at the top. Could Urban Chang give the home fans something to cheer about? His second into the 16th. Simply stunning. He would go on to pop that one in for a much needed birdie. Playing alongside Dayan Lawson and Kennedy Silva was Tai Sutinon Panyo. Four over for the day coming into this hole, but a lovely shot into the 17th would set up a birdie for Panyo. So Ho oh, continuing to lead by three, but with Yu Prayong in the clubhouse at one over par. The marker was set. Could the Taiwanese hold on or could Dayan Lawson produce one more magic moment in Selangor? Coming out of the left half of this hole. The home hole in sight. The finish line in sight. Straight over the top of the stick for Dayan Lawson. That'll be an opportunity to hang even par as the mark in the clubhouse. Now just off the side of the 17th green, Ho Yi Cheng, oh dear, he's undercooked that one. Still leads by three. But will it be two? Stan Lawson with this left to right slider to get into the clubhouse at even par. It's got a chance. Oh my goodness, Stan Lawson. Half a roll away. From a closing birdie. Still a very good closing round of 69 for Day and Lawson. He joins Yu Prayong at one over par. Now Sekito, a shot further back, a hole further back. Third into 17. Working that one off the middle ridge. Playing that very nicely. Has that left for par? Now, Kenneth De Silva at the 18th. And it's nicely held. Closing round of 74 leaves him at six over par for the week. Well, 
Leads by three, just to keep things that way. I knew it. it was slightly under borrowed and under hit, but a bogey still leaves him too clear. Uh, sitting on Panio, just tidying things up for Bob at the 80. It's a good week's work for the tie. Closing round of 71. Leaves him at three over par. Now in the battle for low Malaysia in between. Irvin Chang and Ding Abdul Rahman. This is Abdul Rahman's par, but at 17, finding the target. In the battle for bragging rights right now is Irvin Chang, who's on the last. It wasn't the easiest of bunker shots, but he has played an absolute beauty. Touch of class there from Irvin Chang. Back on the tee, this tee shot has proved tricky throughout the course of the week for the players. Akito with the honor. That started a little right. Tried to save it at the end, and oh dear, oh dear, that looks like that's found the penalty area. Now, Chang, for a brilliant Sandy save. Nicely hold, Irvin Chang. It's a difficult round of 73, but he'll end his week at four over par. Now, Sekito. Ball came up short of that penalty area, but still lots of danger to negotiate here. Uh oh, he's giving it the run and look. Just headed for the spectators, it is. Oh, it's clattered amongst the crowd, and well, it's going to be tough to play it from that line, won't it? It'll certainly get dropped from there. And look at the shot he's left himself, my word now. Fairway safely found for Ho Yi Cheng. He's got that two shot lead anything on dry land he will take and he will certainly take that it's not going to stay up on the top shelf but it's not going to matter to him he'll have three putts from there to bag the pkns selango masters and haven't the crowd been entertained in this final round now hope oh, i say three putts from here just want to make sure you snuggle this one up close that's gone racing past. Okay. He's not making it easy on himself. That's okay. Now, Yuki Sakito. Managed to take a drop off the hospitality stands. Chunked his third into the bunker, but that's a great up and down for a closing bogey. It's a round of 75. Sakito ends his week at three over par. So two parts for it. Oh, Yi Cheng. Okay. He's just inching his way to the finish line. Yeah. Then Abdul Rahman, he's had some struggles as well on this 18. This is for a bogey. Yeah, it's a 75 as well for the Malaysian. He's Irvin Chang as Lil Malaysian at the Selangor Masters. Well, he led by four at the start of the day. Ho Yi Cheng only needs to win by one to claim victory at the PKNS Selangor Masters. He survives the test of Sri Selangor. It's a closing round of 76, but it's a breakthrough ADT title for Chinese Taipei's Ho Yi Cheng. Here from the newest winner on the Asian Development Tour. It's pretty, pretty good to win here, and the course pretty tough. Uh, so, can win here is really good for me because it gives me a lot of confidence to go into the next year Asian Tour. So happy to win here. Well, it's certainly not over with the season-ending event in Saudi Arabia, but Dayan Lawson will pad his lead at the top of the Asian Development Tour Order of Merit. His win here in Selangor Vaults Chinese Taipei's Ho Yi Cheng up into second with over $46,000 bank. Sakita holding down that third spot. Well, it's been another wonderful week on the Asian Development Tour. Many congratulations, Ho Yi Cheng, your winner here in Selangor. We'll see you next time on the ADT.